so you want some sections of gutter in. To grow our peas in guttering, or to grow our peas, first of all we need to soak them. So, a bit of kitchen towel, take away tray. So, and then just enough peas to don't want too many because they're going to swell up and you don't want them to swell up too much that they fill the tray up so just enough to cover the bottom of the tray and then some water and it actually doesn't want to be a great deal of water you can add some water later that's it and a lid I don't push the lid right on hard I just leave it so there's a little bit of breathing space and that's it when they've swelled up then we can put them, then we can sew them on. Our peas are now sprouting. As you can see, they've got a little root just coming out. So what we're going to do is we're going to sew them in the guttering. Any old thing to do, cross the end to stop the soil from coming out. Oh, Daisy. Like so. And in our true tradition, here's one I've done earlier. Then we're going to fill that with multi purpose compost. Not not totally to the to the brim. And then I like to flan it out with something this bit of plywood it fits just nicely there we go and then we place our peas turn it with the the little shoot downwards and I put them in sort of every I don't know 50 mil maybe 75 mil apart like so and I sew them not opposite each other just step them so that when they grow up they've got plenty of room and by growing them in this sort of fashion they support each other like so you don't want to leave them shooting too long in a container like this these are just about right because if you do, they will simply go off. There we go. Like so. Don't want that little bit, do we? There we are. Then we're going to cover that with soil. With pot compost. Right the way to the top this time. once again another little level in eight but we're not going to press that too hard because we don't want to damage the pea that's shooting gardener's top then some water I like to use this one without the sprinkler on the end because it sprinkles it all over the place otherwise but if I was doing this in my green ace that doesn't matter but as I'm doing it here in the shed, I don't want water all over the place. There we go. And that's going to go in the greenhouse. And ready for them to get to make this high. And then when I go to put them out, I can just slide them out of the gutter. I'll see you when they're growing. Okay, they're looking good, the peas are looking good, ready to go in. Um, I'd like to have left them a few more days just so they could all be the same size. Um, only because you get a better root system. So they slide out the gutter easier, but it is a Sunday and I've got to go work next week, so that'll be a week before I get to them. It might be a bit too late then. So all we do is squeeze it up to make sure 
they're not stuck to the edge of the guttering. There we go. And then, all being well, and fortune on our side, they will slide. How's that? Looks good to me. Hey, as easy as that, eh? Easy as that. Then we just tuck them in. Make sure they're firm. Bit of water. Another little touch, I like to put a bit of grit around them to discourage the slugs and the pigeons will absolutely love these so we will need to put some netting of some sort over the top to discourage the pigeons. So hopefully that's it. There we go, a nice row of peas not totally evenly spaced but nevertheless I would never would have got a row of peas like that had I sewn them directly into the ground see you all later bye